cutting. If you took the time to color your pieces like I did, be extra careful and make sure to pay attention to what I'm saying in this part of the video. If you don't, you could risk ruining your work and cutting the wrong things. First things first, broken lines are cut lines, solid lines going all the way through a piece are fold lines. Make sure you don't accidentally cut the fold lines. Before you start cutting, if you watch the printing part of this video, you'll remember I explained that the cards will not be perfectly aligned. So while you are cutting, make sure you follow along the lines and cut when looking at this side of the cards. Otherwise, you might cut off images or text as shown here. Make sure you have something like a cutting board underneath the piece that you're cutting so you don't accidentally scratch up your table or cut the tablecloth. Alright, with that out of the way, grab a buddy, be careful while cutting, and let's start. First, the carnival points. You can follow the cut lines as shown on the sheet or you can cut them out as squares to make it easier. Your choice. I chose to follow the lines and this is how they turned out. Next is the carnival goers. I recommend cutting the little slits out first with the X-Acto knife. If you don't have an X-Acto knife, you could also use the edge of a sharp pair of scissors like so. After the slits have been made, follow the broken lines and cut out all the characters including any that you made. This is how they should look. Next, the activity stand. They are very, very similar to the carnival goers, except they don't have any slits to cut. Follow the broken line, and when you're finished, they will look like this. Now on to lure cards. These are pretty easy, but just make sure you're looking at this side while cutting. That goes for all cards. Event cards should be cut just like the lure cards. Clue cards, it's the same thing. Activity cards are pretty easy too. They'll look like this when you're done. I went ahead and cut out the envelope. The only thing you need to cut on the envelope now are the broken lines on the sides like so. Make sure to cut exactly on the broken line as much as you can. This is how it should look. Now this piece is called the clock pointer. Stop! The clock pointer is clunky and doesn't work well, so I recommend using a paper clip instead. With that out of the way, the other pieces are easy to figure out. We'll also need to make little slits on the game board itself.